everybody it's Tamika welcome back to day three of my short embellishment series I am so so super excited to share with you these super cute pinwheels look how cute they are I mean the shimmer is absolutely amazing very very cute embellishment um, please check the description box below for day one and day two um, embellishments and also be sure to like the video and leave a comment I am picking a winner at the end of the series to receive all of the embellishments that I created this week so let's go ahead and get started now I made a mass production of these pinwheels and I used my silhouette cameo pinwheel, pinwheel file and I cut it out a two by two but you can do these by hand if you don't have that file or um, any cutting machine you just take a square the dimension that you want it to be at this is a two by two and then you fold it in half length and width open it up and fold it back the opposite direction so you can find the center so I'm gonna circle it you can maybe use a pencil if you want to but just circle the center okay so that's where you want to go and all you want to do is take your scissors and don't go to to this circle so if you see here you want to leave a nice boundary around that circle otherwise you cut a triangle out and you won't have a pinwheel so from corner to that circle cut make a slight cut and try to do that same length all the way around from the tip of the corner to wherever it is that you stopped and like I said you gotta leave some room for it to be able to bend and fold and do what you needed to do so just try to match them up as best as possible so that's what I did here see really easy right and then you want to fold over your corners to me it's easier to do this with the brad obviously um, and make it a lot better but I'm gonna draw on the holes of the ends that you want to connect so you have your paper starting right in front of you this middle flap here that's the one we're working on it's going to be this spot so it's the right hand side of each triangle turn it that spot turn it that spot turn it that spot so the right hand lower right hand side of each triangle is where you want to put your point there so if you had a brad you would fold that over there that will go on top of it that will go on top of that and that will go on top of that see you got your pinwheel super easy very very cute so um really easy so i'm going to go ahead and fold this over just like i did the last one only i'm going to use hot glue because my brads are mia like i have no idea where my entire bowl of brads that are so that's what we're going to do and i'm using a very low temp a low temp heat gun to be able to touch this like i am and i'm only using just a dot of the glue but this allows me to match my corners up evenly because it pre-draws a hole in there and like i said i was mass producing these so easier that way match my hole up and one more and that's that in there okay and brad like I said brads are the easiest way to be able to do this so you have this is what you should have now really cute right so you'll need, um, you need, I forgot to tell you what you needed. You need a hole punch, piece of scrap paper, so you can do the back. I'm using this fine tip applicator glue. It has glossy accents on the inside. Some shimmer mist, and then some kind of sparkle glitter or something to make it pop. Typically, you'd want to use a toothpick, but in this case, because I didn't want to paint my toothpick and I wanted it to be white, I'm actually using a Q-tip with the heads cut off and then a centerpiece for the middle of your sugar frosted pinwheel all right so the next thing I want to do is add this flatback pearl 
to the middle of my pinwheel. I'm going to use some hot glue. And then I'm just going to put it in there and press it. Press it in really good. Like so. Uh -oh. Really cute. There we go. Easy, right? And then I'm going to take my hole punch. Punch a circle. And get ready to add my Q-tip. So I just put a little glue dot on the back on this circle. And I'm going to adhere it to my Q-tip. And put it a little lower. All right, and then now I'm just going to add some more glue around the top of the dot, the top of the circle, and then place it where I want it to be, right there. Shut her down. Just make sure the glue is adhered to the back to hide the stick. So cute already. So now I want to add some shimmer to my pinwheel. Get my shimmer spray. And I want it super shiny. And then I'm going to apply my heat tool. I so wish you can see, but you can't see all the shimmer. So shimmery. Anyway, so the base of my pinwheel is shimmery. So we're already starting out good. Forgot to mention you need some stickles. So if you want to, I'm going to add this glossy accent so you can use any kind of clear drying wet glue around my center piece, my flat back pearl. I'm just gonna add it right around the edges because I really want the center to bling out right around the edge. And then on all of the edges of the pinwheel. All around, everywhere where you want the glitter to fall and touch. So I'm just outlining the whole um, outline of the pinwheel, all of the corners. Use this one. See, I just outlined it here, all the way down there. Just all of the folded corners, like so. Okay, and then I'm going to use my vintage sparkle glitter I got from Tuesday morning. Then just pour it on top. Make sure you have a surface that you can fall on. Flip it over and lightly tap. Just light. Look at all of that gorgeousness. Super, super, super cute. So I'm going to set that down for a second. Get my glitter back inside my bottle. And then... To top it off, I'm going to add some ice stickles on the outside of where I just, just lightly little accent pieces on the outside of where that stickle, I mean that um, frostedness is drying, just to add some sparkle to it, even more so. So I call them sugar frosted flowers because they are just luscious. And there you go Can you see that shimmer on there there we go gorgeous and here's the other one look at all that sugar frostedness super super cute so um, I'm gonna let those dry overnight because I don't want to hit it with the heat tool because then it'll be 
a little clumpy than I'd like it to be. So let that dry overnight and you're done. So be sure to check the description box for all the links and then let's go ahead and make some of these embellishments and I will see you guys on day four.